So here we're to those four term polynomials. I know I've said it a bunch, but basically we are still just factoring, but we see a different pattern, which is a four term polynomial, and we're gonna factor that. So it's kind of weird here because we could make one term out of these two terms, but basically we wanna keep it split up so we can continue this factoring. So the first thing I do is I pair them up. In my first pair, I look for a GCF. So in that case, that's 2x that they have in common. And that leaves me with 3x minus 2. So I took the 2x out of the 6x squared and the negative 4x. In my second pair, I have a GCF of 5. And then if I take out the 5, that also leaves me with 3x minus 2 which is my goal. I want that common binomial factor. So here it is. We're going to factor it out and put it in the front. And what's left over is my 2x plus 5, right here and here. So honestly, if you get it, you could really do the whole page now. Um, but as I said, I'll work through all the examples kind of quickly. Um, if you want to work ahead and then check, that's really the best way to do it. So Four-term polynomial, we group. GCF is 2x. Here's that weird situation where that second pair is opposite of what I want. So when it's opposite of what I want, I take out a negative 1. I have x minus 15. So taking out the, the common binomial factor is x minus 15, and then we have 2x minus 1. Now I want to point out, I can quickly notice that there's no more factoring to do on those two. There's no GCFs. There's no difference of perfect squares. But I do always kind of have that in mind. Do I have more factoring? Both of these first two problems, though, those are done. Okay, moving on to the next one. Now we have kind of our true problem. None of these four terms can be combined. So it's very obvious to me that we have grouping. So group it up. Take out an x squared. Here, we have to take out something. It's perfect, so I just take out a 1. Okay. Common binomial factor of 5x minus 2. What's left over after I divide is x squared plus 1. Moving on to the next one. Okay, here we have 9x squared. So we have 2x plus 1. Take out a negative 1 to flip those signs. So we have 2x plus 1. So here's my first time that second factor is difference of perfect squares, right? 9x squared and 1 are perfect squares connected by subtraction. So this becomes 3x plus 1, 3x minus 1, and we bring down the 2x plus 1. So four more. If you haven't started on your own yet, I would definitely start with these four and then come back and check. That's what we would be doing in class. Um, so with this first section, um, group them up x squared, and this is going to be fast on these, so I'm going to do this pretty quickly. Negative 9, which flips the signs. We have 3x plus 2, common binomial factor, and x squared minus 9. This is difference of perfect squares again. Now, this next one looks weird, but if I'm just going to follow my pattern, it's going to work out okay. So GCF here is xy. GCF here is negative 25. And just as I know, I can always take out a positive 25, but I look ahead and I want both of these terms to be positive to max GX plus 3. So if you have to decide, you basically pick what works. So here I have X plus 3 and XY minus 25. The next one, um, I have the pairs. This one looks kind of weird too. We're not really that cubed squared X constant pattern I'm used to. But let's see what happens. So I take out an x cubed, and I have x squared plus 4. Here I take out a 2, and I have x squared plus 4. So my common binomial is x squared plus 4, and here I have x cubed plus 2. Um, they look different, but nothing is different of perfect squares. I have no GCF, so I'm done. Now, ideally, on h, you notice that you have a GCF of 5. Okay, so I'm actually going to take out the 5 first 
one thing you can do when your factoring gets a little confusing is put brackets on it because when you have multiple things going on we're going to have other parentheses and having brackets instead is totally legal it's not like interval notation or anything where it means something different it's just holding it together differently so i'm going to take out that five okay grouping the first two and the second two the reason i have the brackets is so we realize like this is what i'm factoring and the five is staying on the outside so here i have x squared x plus two four and x plus two so i'm going to come down and have x plus two times x squared plus four and bring down our five if you didn't notice the five in the beginning the five would be stuck in one of these two factors and you would have to take it out at the end which as i said is less likely if you catch gcfs first that's always the best way to do them 